Welcome to week nine on training and development. In this week, we will be looking at defining the different concepts that relate to training and development, explaining the purpose of training and development and highlighting the benefit thereof to both the employer and employee. We will look at the training and development priorities that are necessitated by the fourth industrial revolutions and its associated knowledge economy. We will look at in-depth analyzing the four phases involved in the training and development process and the focus on management development in the public sector. While all of this reflecting on the value of human resource training and development to the integrated human resource management approach. The concepts we will be looking at relate to concepts such as education, training, development, developmental activities, learning, and then training and development. In identifying what the priorities will be for the fourth industrial revolution, we have to recognize that digital learning does not mean learning on your phone. It means bringing the learning to where the employee is. Digital learning is a way of learning and not a type of learning. We will also be looking at the four phases involved in the training and development process, and that includes strategizing, planning, organizing, and justifying as the fourth phase. The value of management development, and specifically the development and the role that competency frameworks play, will be scrutinized and we will look at the South African Competency Management Framework. Uh, proposed by the Department of Public Service and Administration as a case study. Enjoy your week and keep on reflecting.